delivered by this deal. And above all, if we vote through this apology for Brexit, we will be showing that we have treated the 17.4 million people, the highest number of people ever to vote for a single proposition, with contempt. With contempt, we will be turning our backs on those people. And this country must understand that when the people of this country voted to leave in 2016, they voted for change. They did not vote for an endless transition or a thinly disguised version of the status quo. They voted for freedom and they voted for independence and they voted for a better Britain and for a country where politicians actually listen to what the people say. And I may say to the House that if we try to cheat them now, as I fear that we are trying to cheat them, they will spot it and they will never forgive us.